this is a C programming question here they have given us this particular code and they are asking us on executing this what the output would be so let's look at the main function here they have defined a static int x equal to 0 and i is made 5 and while i is greater than 0 each time it is decrementing i by 1 it is doing x equal to x plus total of i and then at the end they are printing the value of x so inside the loop i changes from 5 4 3 2 1 and when it becomes 0 it will exit so from 5 to 1 this part will execute meaning it will be calling initially i is 5 so initially it will call total of 5 x equal to x plus total of 5 then it will do total of 4 total of 3 total of 2 total of 1 etc so total will be called for 5 4 3 2 and 1 so let's look at this function total here there is a static int count that is defined as 0 so since it is a static int there will only be one instance of this variable throughout function call so each function call this variable won't be different so there will only be a single instance of count throughout the program and whenever count is changed that count value will be incremented since it is static so static in count is initially 0 and then inside this while loop count plus equal to v and 1 now this operator is bitwise and what it does is it does bitwise and of v and 1 meaning v can be any number so many zeros and ones and it is doing bitwise and of 1 this number 1 is nothing but 0 0 0 0 the final bit is 1 so when this is when we do bitwise and of this with some number for all the zeros it will return 0 in that number and only for the final one if it is 1 in that number it will return 1 else if it is 0 in the number it will return 0 so basically v and 1 will do bitwise and with 1 and it will return 1 if the final if the least significant bit in v is 1 if the least significant bit in v is 1 it will return 1 otherwise it will return 0 okay so and then in the next line it is doing v shift right equal to 1 so here what we are doing is the number v we are shifting it to right so let us say v is 1 0 1 0 when we shift right this number once what will happen is we'll shift it to right this bit will go outside and the final would be these three bits plus a zero will be added to the left side okay so this is shift right what it is doing so if you look here it is comparing the least significant bit with one and then it is doing shift right and then it is comparing again least significant bit with one and then again it will do shift right similarly so whenever so look at this number okay let us say it is 101 when we do shift right when we do bitwise and with one it will return one because this number is one okay so it will return one and again we do shift right meaning this bit will go out now the least significant bit is zero we'll do shift weights and with one this will return zero again when we do shift right this bit will go away the final bit is this when we do shift bitwise and with one again this will also return one so initially the number was 101 and two times it returned one so this is kind of like counting the number of ones in the number v so this entire loop will count the number of ones in the number v and it will add it to count okay so let us see what happens when we call total with different numbers let us see we are calling total of one when we call total of one the number is one okay how many bits of ones are there how many bits are one that is only one so total of one will add one to count if we call total of two the number is one zero there's only a single one here so again it will add one to count if you do total of three the number is one one there are two ones here so it will add two to count four is one zero zero five is one zero one so four and five will add one and two respectively to count now let us look at the program execution okay so initially x is zero and we are doing x plus total of five total of five will add two to count and initially count is zero when we add it to count becomes two and at the end it is returning count so total of five here will return two so effectively this operation becomes x equals to x plus two okay and then x will become 2 now after that it will again call total of 4 now so let us see what happens when we call total of 4 when we 
call total of 4 it will add 1 to count so count was 2 now it becomes 3 when we call total of 3 it will add 2 to count so count is 3 now from here to 3 we will add 2 so it will return 5 again after that when we call total 2 it will add 1 to count so count will become from 5 to 6 so to, when we call total 1 after that count becomes from 6 to 7 so these are the return values of the functions total 5 4 3 2 1 respectively so what happens in this loop is initially it will become x equal to x plus 2 since 2 is returned by count of total of 5 after it will become x equal to x plus 3 since 3 is returned by total of 4 then again it will become x equal to x plus 5 since 5 is returned by total of 3 then it becomes x equals x plus 6 since 6 is will be returned by total of 2 after it will become x equal to x plus 7 since 7 is returned by total of 1 so each time initially x was 0 x becomes 2 now when we add 3 it becomes 5 when we add 5 it becomes 10 when we add 6 it becomes 16 when we add 7 it becomes 23 so after this loop x becomes 23 and then we are printing 23 so that is the answer